Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. On this video, I'd like to show you guys um, what I do in my dry shampoo routine. Basically like a how-to video. This is just a personal how I like to do it. There's all sorts of types of hairs, colors, dry shampoos, scents, brands, all kinds of stuff out there. So these are just, I just want to go ahead and share with you guys the brands that I like to use for my dry, for, uh, dry shampoo. I typically like to wash my hair maybe about two to three times a week, depending on how I feel. This, these last two weeks, because I've had the flu, I honestly, for, I think it was last week that I think I washed my hair one time last week. Like I said, dry shampoo is a really great benefit for those of you that don't want to wash your hair every single day. As myself, <clears throat> I shower like my body every single day, but I don't wash it every single day. So the days that I don't wash my hair, I just go ahead and put a little bit of dry shampoo and voila, we're done. So I do have quite a bit of hair. It is thick and also it's not super short, but it's, I would say, mid-length. So it does take me a good eight to ten minutes to do this process. Um, <clears throat> so just wanted to go ahead, like I said, and share with you guys what kind of dry shampoos I use um, and um, how I usually do this routine. Okay, I started off with these two from Not Your Mother's and I went to a beauty event uh, last year in 2018 and that's where I got introduced to these um, or to this brand. Um, I usually use two kinds. Now there's a green and a blue bottle. Um, the blue bottle is Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. It absorbs excess oils um, and leaves a no white residue um, and also it's the smell is incredible. It's a toasted coconut. It smells really really great and then your other one is going to be the clean freak refreshing dry shampoo that's the green bottle um, and that one is just the same thing it's a fresh volume absorbs excess oils and leaves no residue as well also another favorite of mine is um, it's called chlorine k-l-o-r-a-n-e this one right here is it's a dry shampoo with oat milk oat with oat milk, not goat, oat milk, um, ultra gentle, and it's for all hair types. This one actually is a full size bottle, and I got this little baby from a play by Sephora. It's a subscription you have through Sephora, and they give you like little samples, and they usually send about five of them, and that's how I was introduced to this guy. Um, they sent me like a small little travel size bottle, and I tried it out, and I really loved it. Um, ever since I've been hooked on this one. Um, this one does tend to leave a little bit of a white residue, but just, you know, just you can just brush it out or just rub it out with your fingers. So another one of my favorite dry shampoos um, is going to be this one right here. It's from Dry Bar. It's called Detox Dry Shampoo. The original scent, um, I haven't tried. They have a whole line of dry shampoos with um, this brand, but I've only tried this one, and this is the one that I usually stick to. It smells really good. It doesn't leave a white residue and it works fantastic. Uh, you can find it either at Ulta or Sephora. You can also go to drybar.com. They have like blow dryers. They have like all kinds of like a whole line of hair products. Uh, last and final one. This one is called Amika. This one's Perk Up Dry Shampoo. And I love the bottle, how it's just so colorful. I just love the design on the bottle. It's, it's gorgeous. This one also smells really good. Um, this one right here, I got introduced also by a Play by Sephora box. And the minute I tried it out, I just fell in love with it because of the scent um, and what it did. It soaked up the oils off my hair and also did not leave a white residue. So yeah, so these are the five dry shampoos that I stick with that I love. So the one that we'll be using today is Amika, and this is the one I'll be showing you guys how I do um, my dry shampoo routine. You probably can't really tell because of um, the lighting. I usually have really oily hair, so I just use a little bit extra product. I'm just going to go ahead and use my mirror here. I just like to divide it into sections. I usually just start at the lowest part that I can so that I can see it when I'm spraying it. So I just go ahead and give it a nice little shake. And you want to make sure you're about four to six inches away. Just give it a couple of sprays. And then the same thing I just keep parting it, give it a nice shake, and then part it up again. It smells good already. And then part it. My pinky nail was a lot longer a couple of days ago, so it was easier for me to do it, but I cut it. I 
and just keep parting it until you're almost done. I usually gave it, I'm sorry, whew, I usually give it a good shake right before I spray it. It's just habit. So I just try to do it as far as back as I possibly can. And I think that will be it for me. <sighs> Can't see. So since my hair is really dark, you could probably see a little bit of the white residue in my hair. Um, in some areas, I can see it, it's pretty visible. So I'll go ahead and just leave it as is for about 10 to 15 minutes and I will be right back. What I like to do next after this is I like to go ahead and just rub it in. Kind of like if it were, you were washing your hair with shampoo, just a gentle little, you know, rub, just to sort of dissipate the white residue because it does leave a tiny tiny bit of a residue not too bad so I just go ahead and split my hair in two and then I just brush it out now I shed a lot of hair so I'm going to grab my trash can you have short hair then obviously it will be a lot easier for you. If you have longer hair than I do then you'll probably be here for a good while brushing it off. Just keep brushing it out to your liking. I'm just taking all the little bad knots. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as is. Um, I feel like I've got now to have some texture, I've got some volume. Um, the oils have literally dissipated they're gone um because the dry shampoo literally absorbed it all and it's given me a nice matte look which i love i'll be um, linking the products that i mentioned to you earlier down below so you guys can take a look that is all that i have to share with you guys um for this video i hope that you guys learned something new and i will see you guys on my next video i'll talk to you guys later bye